What can I observe in my river landscape? How do people, animals, plants and water live together? Paul, do you want to come with me to explore our riverscape? Yes, that sounds like fun. Where are we going? Which part of the river are we interested in? Shall we go to the sill? We can see many types of human impact there. There's a highway, a tunnel, a big construction site, residential houses, and the river has been straightened. Yes, great idea. We have to take a lot of things with us. Pencils, a writing pad, crayons, a sharpener, thermos bottle and snacks, cell phone and a camera. Let's go! We are multi-species ethnographers now, observing animals, plants and humans and how they live together. We will make field notes with drawings, sketches, texts, photos and sound recordings. The water's quite cold. Nobody would swim here. Look at the big construction site. I'll take a picture of the construction site. The river is all grey because it's been polluted by the construction site. I wonder what this means for the animals who live in the water. And I wouldn't drink from it either. But the bank is sandy here, a good place to have a party. I found a barbecue place and garbage, lots of empty bottles. So this is a place where people like to spend time together. Now we should start writing down our observations so we can remember everything later. I'm also doing a sketch with a bird's eye view so I can show who and what can be seen here. That way we can better see the patterns. The point is not to draw beautifully, but to capture the things we find important in our observations. Car noise is very noticeable here. You can hardly hear the river at all. I'm going to add crossbars for all noise sources to your sketch. The more crossbars, the louder the noise. Look, there's a fish ladder. Do you remember when the city built it? Because the embankment was so obstructed? The river was originally straightened like this to protect the neighbourhood from floods. But that meant that the fish couldn't swim upstream anymore. So a lot of fish species lost their habitat here. Because of the fish ladder, more fish have come back here. Still, the embankment is very steep and the river cannot flow freely. And I wonder how the built-up bank affects the animals. Remember we learned that young fish and larvae need protected spaces in bays. I wonder what kind of fish are there, if any? Let's interview Professor Miller. She's an ecologist. Hello, do you guys come here often? Yes, we like to meet here, because we can be on our own and do what we like. What kind of impression does the river leave you with? Here in the lower section, the trees on the bank are very nice, because they provide shade in the summer and there are birds chirping in the trees. It might be nicer if the bank wasn't so steep and paved. Then we would have more space to hang out. Look, Paul, how much we collected and learned today. If we write a research report about this, then others can learn something about the river community. And I'll write a rap song about the river with the young people we met.